Are you ready? Stand by. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to RO Corner, brought to you by Lamso USPSA. My name is Daryl, and I will be your range officer for this episode. Today's episode, we're diving into Chapter 5 of the rule book, specifically Rule 5.4, dealing with eye and ear protection. So, to start out, anybody that's on the range that could potentially be exposed to uh, bullet fragments or ricochets or anything like that needs to have eye protection on. Preferably impact rated safety glasses or shooting glasses. Um, a lot of people tend to wear sunglasses. Those are fine. Try to get something that's impact rated. Also, people on the range who are close enough to the action to where hearing damage from firearms being fired could result need to have adequate ear protection on. Now, if you're right up on the line, obviously you need to have ear protection on. If you are way back in the gallery, you may be able to get away with just putting your fingers in your ears. Uh, if a range officer deems that your eye or ear protection is not adequate, they may require you to rectify that before they allow you to shoot the course of fire. And the range master will be the ultimate authority on that. If the range master says it's okay, you're good to go. So, as a range officer, if you notice that a competitor has started a course of fire without adequate eye and or ear protection on, it is your duty to immediately stop that competitor. Stop them, have them unload the firearm, show clear, if clear him down holster, rectify the issue, and then that competitor gets a reshoot. No exceptions. Automatic reshoot. Now, if you notice that the competitor at the start of the course of fire has all their equipment on and at some point during the course of fire something falls off or becomes dislodged in the case of ear protection, again, stop the shooter and go through the process. If you are the shooter and something becomes dislodged, Okay, your eye protection falls off as you're, you're going down for a low port or something like that. If it is 100% accidental, immediately stop. The RO should be stopping you at this point also. But as the shooter, stop. You know, if the range officer hasn't said anything, let them know what happened. They will go through the procedure and you'll continue on. However, if in the opinion of the range officer, you intentionally removed or dislodged your eye and or ear protection. Maybe you're having a really bad stage and you're trying to get a reshoot. If the RO determines that the hearing or eye protection was lost intentionally, not only do you not get a reshoot, but you actually get disqualified from the match. Okay, that is under rule 10.6.3, and that would be considered unsportsmanlike conduct and a match DQ. Pack up your stuff, you're done for the day. So, that is pretty much it for eye and hearing protection. Make sure you have it on. Don't try to lose it intentionally. Let's all stay safe, have fun. Like, share, subscribe, check out the other videos here on the channel, including the video that I will link probably right over here for the, uh, the eye protection that I may have done a review on last week. Check that out, guys. That is it from the top of Lambs Hill. I am Daryl. Shoot safe.